Hello, I'm Dr. Heidi, and welcome to week 11 of the Thousand Word Challenge. This week, I'll tell you about the trip I took with Victor and programmer John Underhill to the TESOL 2019 convention in Atlanta, Georgia. You'll get to see the booth we had at the convention and learn a little about some of our cultural experiences in Atlanta. Stay tuned. This year, Vocab Victor was proud and excited to travel from California to Atlanta, Georgia for the TESOL International Convention. The TESOL Convention brought together English teachers from around the country and around the world to learn new ideas and learn about new products to help their students. Here we are at the TESOL convention in Atlanta. This is our booth, this is our tablecloth, and we're giving away um, candy, and we have some post-it notes for people to take home. We've got some pens, vocab Victor, um, and I am here with John Underhill, who is one of our programmers. John, could you tell us a little bit about what you do for Vocab Victor? I help make the software for Vocab Victor, and um, I also take care of Moxie. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay. So, um, so we've been having a great time here, talking to teachers and giving them demonstrations of our software um, and our app and we're going to be doing a present I'm going to be doing a presentation this afternoon so we'll get to talk to even more teachers. It was great to meet with people doing different kinds of language programs around the world and one of the other nice things was being able to visit with some family and friends. We went to the Atlanta Symphony and I got to see my nephews who I don't see very often. Another highlight was visiting the birthplace of the Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. We also saw the crypt of Dr. King and his wife Coretta Scott King and this eternal flame that was across from the memorial. One thing that the southern part of the United States is famous for is their style of cooking, so we were lucky to be able to have some delicious southern meals. We had a great time in Atlanta at the TESOL convention, uh, but before we knew it, it was time to pack everything up and get ready to go. We had to take our leftover post-it notes home and Victor was very tired. But overall, we had a lot of fun and we hope to do it again next year. Here are this week's words. Meet. To see and speak to someone for the first time. To be introduced or become acquainted with someone. Country. An area of land that is controlled by its own government. Nation. Program. A group of classes that lead to a degree, a course of study. Hope. To want something to happen or be true and think that it could happen or be true. Product. Something that is made or grown to be sold or used. Travel. To go on a trip or journey. To go to a place and especially one that is far away. International. Made up of people or groups from different countries. Style. A particular way in which something is done, created, or performed. Software. The programs that run on a computer and perform certain functions. Overall. As a whole, in general. Excite. To cause feelings of enthusiasm in someone. To make someone feel energetic and eager to do something. Um, in the video, I use the adjective form, excited, very enthusiastic and eager about something. Meal. 
the foods eaten or prepared for eating at one time. Highlight. Something such as an event or detail that is very interesting, exciting, or important. The best part of something. Southern. Located in or towards the south. Convention. A large meeting of people who come to a place for usually several days to talk about their shared work or other interests or to make decisions as a group. Flame. The hot, glowing gas that can be seen when a fire is burning. Memorial. Something such as a monument or ceremony that honors a person who has died or serves as a reminder of an event in which many people died. Nephew. A son of your brother or sister. Eternal. Having no beginning and no end in time, lasting forever. Booth. A partially enclosed area or a small and usually temporary building where things are sold or displayed or services are provided. You know, one thing that's true every time I take a trip is that I love to travel and it's fun to go to new places and have new experiences, but it's always good to get back home. We got back home in California. We went to the Humane Society and picked up Moxie and we were able to rest and recover a little bit before it was time to get back to work. But we're really excited about all the teachers that we met and we're going to be staying in touch with them and talking to them about the new version of the app that we have coming up. And I wanted to mention, if you go to our website, vocabvictor.com, there's a place where you can tap on contact. And then if you scroll down, it says join our newsletter. And I recommend you do that because we have some exciting news coming up and we'd love to tell you about it. So go to our website. Also, don't forget to go to our course website and you can look at the words for this week and download the text for the video that you just saw. Download Vocab Victor and play every day to help you become a vocabulary winner. And come back next week for 20 more words. Thank you. Mm -hmm.